Gnome plans to remove all X11 session code by the time Gnome 50 ships, effectively making Gnome on XORG an entirely unsupported configuration. Although Ubuntu already defaults to Wayland, even on NVIDIA hardware, it continues to offer an XORG session for edge cases, specific tools, or hardware that can't yet run Wayland. With Ubuntu 26.04 LTS slated to arrive in April 2026 alongside Gnome 50, Canonical faces the risk that the default login manager GDM will no longer be able to start X11 sessions. As one Ubuntu developer explained, losing GDM's XORG support would force users to adopt alternative display managers such as LightDM or SDDM, breaking features like GNOME's lock screen and complicating the workflows of gamers, researchers, educators, and enterprise customers who rely on XORG today. To address this, discussions are underway around shifting responsibility for launching SORG from GDM to the desktop sessions themselves. Red Hat's Adrian Vok has proposed that each XORG desktop environment configure its own dot .desktop file to start the X server, allowing GDM to drop its bespoke SORG support without eliminating the ability to launch X11 sessions. Under this plan, Ubuntu 26.04 LTS could still include an Zorg fallback, likely the last LTS release to do so, while GNOME focuses developer effort on Wayland's active development. GNOME 49 will soft disable the legacy session before GNOME 50 fully removes it, giving distributions and users time to prepare for a Wayland-only future.